Apparently, Tim Allen did not say that he hates dogs at all. This is completely untrue. This was from a line in Last Man Standing where he said, animals don't love and they survive just fine. We need to get Seamus Totally on taken here. out of context. Seamus does have a very controversial view in regard to pets. Can yeah. they love their owners? And I have to agree with him. I don't think that animals are capable of love or at least not the same Come on, bro. love that that humans are capable of, of. Well, it's, it's not just that it's like mr bogus is dying yeah. and he's very sick he's, he's he's getting better now we'll see how long it is but you know early on he's like very sick and he's dying and i'm like man i'm really sad about my cat but you know i just know that he'll go to a better place and shame no he won't <laughs> oh. <laughs> he didn't say it but like, like that. Even if you think that, well. don't be that guy. <laughs> like, bro, read the room. Don't That's be not that your, guy that brings it up. This is not the time to do that. Like, he didn't say it like that. But <laughs> yeah. he did. He was like, your cat's not going to heaven, Tim. He and will actually like, oh. cat heaven. I'm sorry, but the worst part of that is the self-satisfied look that person always has on their face <laughs> when they say that because they've been waiting for years <laughs> to tell a person that. They're like, actually, let me tell you about it. Uh, cat heaven isn't a real thing, and he's going to go into an abyss where he will not have a soul and nothing will... And they just... He'll like, be annihilated. Oh. Yeah, he's just, they, they love it. So love uh, here are some angry tweets. <laughs> per Tim Allen, animals aren't capable of love, so what does it mean when a dog licks you or... For example, a man goes hiking with his dog, has an accident, and dies. When the rescuers finally found him a month later, the dog was still there by his owner's side. Another said, uh, well, Tim Allen, dogs are incapable of love. No, Tim, dogs can sense horrible people. I assume horrible people like Tim Allen. Yes. And they brought up his prison sentence uh, for his, his dope shop? bust in 1978. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. They were just... You know, excavating every bad thing that Tim Allen has ever said or done. Uh, people are really mad at Tim Allen, but he hates animals, but he sold cocaine, but he's a MAGA cult trumper. Boo hoo, don't drown in the river you've made from your tears. Dude's got it made. If it comes down to it, I pick Trump over the PDF file family any day. Stay <laughs> mad. Plus, he's the Santa Claus. To, ever, to, to millions of people, he will be the Santa Claus. To millions of, of individuals. Not just Tim the Toolman Taylor. No he one can hate Santa his Claus. voice. He, hate. he was also in an amazing movie called... Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Man of the House was Chevy Chase and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yeah. That, was back, that was back in the 90s. So uh, do, you, do you think that Tim Allen is like... This is like the least of the things that they're going to roast It's sort of for. like Chris Pratt, where I just don't understand how one hate. person can evoke so much hatred from the public like With such little chris pratt as i've said is said. a living breathing banana nut muffin like the most inoffensive <laughs> person ever <laughs> tim allen i don't feel any type of way about him but apparently all these people just hate his guts yeah uh he, well it's because he, he's a trump supporter and he was uh, that's he was, really it he was Find hollywood excuse, conservatism you know? before hollywood conservatism everyone would have looked the past the uh, drug smuggling charges oh yeah no they would have loved they would have looked past the, the flashing pam anderson all of that would have been water under the bridge that's but normal supporting for trump, hollywood yeah, okay, okay, oh okay. boy you can literally shoot a woman in the chest and kill her and they will defend you as long as you don't like Trump. Yep. 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 Pretty much. Alex, did you see the video that came out later of him like on set? Like, oh, yeah. And she's like, he's like, I don't want to shoot the gun at you. At, wow. At, oh, no, I didn't see yeah, that. So there's a thing of him on set like that came out recently where he basically says he's like pointing the gun. He says like, can you please move? I don't want to aim this gun at you. Wow. Like which shows oh, that, that changes a lot because he's a very he, he was in ROTC when he was in high school and really? in college. So he knows his way. Or or is it Lady arms. Doth protest yeah. too much? Yeah, it, it, oh, I don't yeah. want to shoot this gun at you. <laughs> Be careful, lady. Knowing that two days from now he's about to go and yeah. <laughs> yep, Ooh. the perfect crime. He knew yep. he knew exactly what he was he's, doing. He's uh, the, the worst was like after all of this happened, he did this weird Instagram live stream where he starts going on this rant about uh, it was like, a year ago. He's like, he's, like, he's like he's like complaining about the New York Post. He's like, except for their sports section, for some reason they have a great sports section at the New York Post. Like no one believes you're human. Means. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. He's, uh, he's, he's kind of awful. I like right? sports. I'm a human being. But Tim Allen was kind of Hollywood conservatism before that was really a thing because not just home improvement, but Last Man Standing was, for a lot of people, considered to be one of the last like pieces of conservative uh, mainstream entertainment that was allowed to be, made, uh, to be made. At least it was perceived that way. Kind of the way Blue Bloods was, and that got canceled this year with Tom Selleck. Like, there's these shows mm -hmm. that are allowed to exist because they're for older audiences, so they kind of slip by. CBS, for instance, has like a demo that 
uh, skews older anyways, so their advertising can lean into that because it's not necessarily always just looking for the 18 to 49 demo, which is that key demo if you want advertisers that are actually going to pay for your material. Is, is the Connor still around? Uh, yes, I, I think that wasn't uh, wasn't that like they were Trump supporting family or something? No, well, no, the the Connors came after they got rid of Roseanne. Uh, right, right, yeah, but like I, the, the, I the revival it. Roseanne was like, oh, we're kind of a yeah. Trump supporting family. Well, speaking of Roseanne, there's the rumor that Tim Allen is going to be developing a sitcom with Roseanne Barr as a new Fox TV show. Ooh, I don't know if that's true. Well, that, really? This was published earlier this month. Isn't Roseanne doing like a show on X? Well, whatever happened yeah. with that, I never saw anything come of her at her X show. I thought that was just going to be like a talk show or a late yeah. night type of thing. I'd watch that. She should do that with Blair White. Her and Blair White should have a talk show together. Yeah, I don't know if we. She made like three ongoing on bets on the time nope. she was on IRL. Snopes says it was satire. What was if, oh. you, if you trust Snopes. Uh, yeah, I don't but, know if but I that's, do. That's not good satire because Tim Allen teaming up with Roseanne is actually like a really good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They should do that. The um so so what is it about the pets for this like because I was I was thinking about how they they make whole movies. Over like this because your take on pets or you guys take on pets is actually controversial because it hits home to people. It's literally why John Wick was able to become a gazillion dollar franchise because they killed a dog. In What's the, your take in, on in pets? The, in the first movie. My take like, on pets? What, what is your take on this that people are that attached to it? That... It's the same one as as Seamus, yeah. which I don't autistically bring up when it's socially inappropriate, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Tim's over here I'm, like... I was kidding, by the way. He didn't just immediately <laughs> say that to me. <laughs> but if you do believe it, you shouldn't just bring it up when someone's pet is dying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't think that animals go to heaven. I don't think they have souls. Well, I don't does, think that they're capable right? of love. Sure, yours... Dane, yours definitely. So if it's not love, what is it? Just attachment? I think that your dog is capable of affection, attachment, companionship, and serves all those purposes very well. But I just don't think that they're capable of love because it's a rational faculty. Mm. The willing the good of another, that's something you can only do if you understand what death is or you understand how to, I don't know, mutual self-sacrifice. That's something that only human relationships are capable of. So I just don't think that a dog is capable of that. So would that be the well, same? Well, higher, higher love maybe. But, you know, if, if we're speaking generally. When a dog they, licks someone, I don't think it means I love you. <laughs> you, you not in a human way, right? Humans, like, I, I see what you're saying. Humans have a much higher developed mind and rational faculties as to explain why they would experience love. The dog has, like, you know, uh, how? Let's, let's just call it the arithmetic versus the calculus, right? Human, human love is quantum physics and dog love is 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's it's a it's 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 a it's an element of it, but humans is substantially more advanced. They love to their ability, right? Yeah, because like what okay. what would like think about like what we were talking about with Bruce Willis yesterday, and, and what was going on was like is Bruce Willis like as somebody or somebody who is uh, who is not mentally in control of their faculties? Are they capable of love? Well, at least my point would be. <laughs> thank you, number eleven. <laughs> thank you guys. Exactly. Um, uh, there's a $20 one there from Benjamin Mauser in Joanne's school says we should read it. With the, um... By uh, what uh, crisis Mauser? party do you read your body count? Uh, 30. Cool. 30. I had to, I, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> hey, Chico, animals yeah. love back. There you go. They, says. they say animals love back. Um, well, at least in a human being who is like suffering from dementia or is before the age of reason, that's an impairment of the rational faculty that I don't think animals are born to have at all. Now, now we all know the story of Hachiko the dog, right? Yes. I think so. That, that, th I think that expresses more love than a lot of humans express. The, the dog that waited that. for 10 years. Th that, okay, that's what I was literally about to say. I didn't know that, that was the name of it. So yeah, it was, Hachiko. Yes, okay. So I, do, I was going to say, I remember that story. Yeah, so uh, simple version. Dude adopts an Akita. This is crazy because I, I, I didn't actually know this. Akitas were nearly extinct. There's like 30 left in Japan. Guy Ooh. adopts an Akita puppy. One day the Akita follows him to the train station where he goes to teach at the university. For two years, the dog keeps going with him to the train to see him off. When he comes back at 5 p.m., the dog Hachiko is waiting for him. One day while he was at the university, he suffered a cerebral hemorrhage and died. Hachiko was waiting for him. He never came back Aww. for the next 10 years. It's, it's a bit more nuanced than this, but the general story is for 10 years, Hachiko waited at the train station every day at 5 for him to come back, and he never did. At first, everyone hated him, tried to shoo him away. They tried rehousing him, but he would always run back and go back to the train station. And then after 10 years, he finally died. 
they built a statue for him yep. at, uh, oh, yeah, at the station. I think I saw that. They celebrate Loyalty Day in honor of Hachiko. And the craziest story is that in the 90s, someone found a shattered vinyl that contained a recording from the station, which had a bark from Hachiko on it. So they lasered the vinyl back together and played it on the radio. And like everyone in Japan tuned in to hear the dog bark. <laughs> That's crazy. So if, you, if we can't say much for dogs, we can say a lot for humans in that regard yeah. to honor the dog who, who was so loyal. Yeah. That's it's because that's like one of those stories where I didn't know that that story had a name, but I've seen like some really really well designed like infographics or posts about that on social media that get that recirculate every few years. So it kind of does speak to that. I, th I think this is actually one of those controversial topics where a lot of people would be able to give you a lot of different perspectives. Pet owners and not pet owners well, alike. Well, I, I guess right? I'm also not a dog person. I'm a cat person, and as a cat person, I realize well, that, that affection is hell. earned, not given for I, free. I don't even think it's earned. <laughs> Unless right? it's Mocha, and then Mocha, uh, Mocha is not Mocha gets no love. I so uh, you know, you know, like if there's a, let's say there's a family living, living in a house and the house is on fire, what what do they end up finding nope. if there's a dog? There's bloody scratches on the door of the dog desperately trying to get through the door to alert the family to the fire and the dog is just scratching like crazy and uh what happens when the family has a cat and there's a fire it's they don't, i don't know the cat i can't find it yeah he's, he's gone. gone what happens when someone if an old man has a dog the old man passes away in his sleep they find the dog lying next to him either dead from dehydration or just lying next to the what 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 happens when there's a cat owner and the eats person? You. Yeah, Dogs yeah. are also smart. It eats than you. Cats. It eats your it body. Eats you. Now, I guess that's smart. You know, <laughs> yeah. don't don't starve to death, cat. Don't let it go to waste. Yep. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.